this is my latest tool. It's a database documenter. I'm going to open the main menu. I'll just type men in here. And there's my main menu. Collapse the navigation pane. Double click a ribbon tab to collapse the ribbon. And now I will browse. And I'll document this one. And here is my analysis. It took about eight seconds to do that. These are all the objects I have in there. I can sort by object type. I can sort by object name, by the date it was created, when it was modified. If it's a table, the number of main relationships it has or the number of foreign key relationships it has. I can also look at the modules. And here are, let me slide this up a bit. Here are the modules in my database. Actually, I'll reposition this for a minute. And I can click on a heading to sort by it. I have standard modules behind forms. I have class modules, and I don't have any class modules behind reports, but if I did, there would be a type listed with R and class. This is the name of the module. So in the case of a class module behind a form, it starts with form underscore. I can see the number of procedures in each module, the number of lines in each module, the number of declaration lines, the number of statements, because sometimes lines are continued. I can see the number of comments, the number of blank lines, the number of executable lines, although I'm, I'm going to label that as the number of code lines, because statements like dim, like when you dimension a variable, they're not executable, but they count. And then the percent uh, executable, I'll, I'll probably label as percent code. So this is how much of it is code as opposed to comments and blank lines, which do help with understanding of the code. Here are all the procedures. I can sort by the procedure name. Here are my code lines. I spent a lot of time on this part of it. These are all the modules, and these are filters. So I could filter, for instance, by the, by the uh, procedures in my code documenter. Now when I drop this down, these will just be procedures in my code documenter. In case I have more than one procedure listed here, then I have the minimum lines and the maximum lines, so you can kind of tell if they're maybe the same code or you have one more recent than the other. But I'll look at the browse file code, and when I switch to that, I see the code lines, and I can go down. Now I'm going to slide this a little bit. As I'm looking at a procedure over here on the left, I see information about the module, so the total number of procedures in the module that I'm looking at, the number of lines in the module, and so on. And if I go down a little bit, then I see for the particular procedure I'm looking at, I see the number of lines it has. I also see that 74% of the procedure I'm looking at is code. That means I must have a fair amount of blank lines and comments. It also is 25% of the module. I think I'll probably relabel instead of mod lines, I'll probably just say 25% of the module. And up above, I see this module is 6% of the lines in the whole file. Now I can drop this down, look at another one. Now, in this particular module, I have these procedures. Now if I click on the X to say, no, I don't want to filter by module, then when I drop down the procedures, I'll see all the procedures in the whole database. In this case, I have some procedures with duplicate names. 
I could take a look at them. Like, for instance, I want to look at all my form current procedures. I see the one I'm looking at right now is in the code behind my object subform. So I go down a little bit. I'm going to scoot this over now. And as I go down, when I come to a new procedure, it's going to be orange. And I can tell this is another form current procedure that I have. This one is in the code behind my module subform. It has five lines and it's 60% code. Another thing I've done with this, yeah, I, I'm still formatting it, but I think I'm going to give it to you as it is, maybe with a few more changes, just because I really, really want your feedback, is when you do an analysis, it tells you the created date and the modified date for the file. Now this, of course, doesn't mean that's the latest thing. You have to look at your objects to know that. You can click on created, click on modified, sort by these columns. The objects inside the file are what's going to tell you what's most recent or not, not the file dates. Nevertheless, here are the file dates, uh, how big it is. I can click on bytes, change the display to kilobytes, click on it again, there's megabytes, click on it again, back to bytes. Uh, there's the file extension. I think I will analyze something else. I click on the Browse and Document Code button, and I'll just paste in a path here with the database I would like to analyze. There's my analyzer. This is a long module. <laughs> I can see it on my other screen going through all the procedures. Okay, done. 25 seconds. So, let's see what this one has. This one has 10 tables, 17 queries, 2 forms, 17 reports, 2 macros, 10 modules. And I'm not sure that these calculations over here are correct. I'm still working on those. Click on Modules. And here are all the standard and class modules I have in that database. Procedures. Here are all my procedures in there. Code lines. Ooh. Okay, well, it's still filtered. I suppose I should reset that. Let me click on the X there. It's filtered from my last time. So I'll reset that. And here are my procedures. If I click on one, I'll just page down since I can't see the scroll bar over there. And page down through this. And I've even colored the comments green. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope it gives you some good information about your databases. I plan to run it on all of my major databases and really get a handle on where my most recent code is for everything. When you open my code documenter, this is what you will see. Browse to choose a file. Click on the file, watch it go, and then look at the reports. These are the results from running my code documenter on an application I wrote to keep track of cars and times for Pinewood Derby races. That's an annual Cub Scout event and it's a lot more fun when the adults are quick at tallying up the results. I can see by the created and modified dates of my objects that I did uh, some work around 2002, 2003 and then I came back in 2004 and did a couple things and then I opened it up again in 2008. Now looking at the file modification dates, it looks like I created it in 2009 and I modified it in 2010. Those dates of course are not accurate. You need to look at the object dates in order to tell what is most recent. I click on the created column heading to sort by when the objects were created. 
The first thing I did was make a table to keep track of cars. Then I made a table to track the times for races, and then a query to show information from both of those tables. By clicking on the date created and sorting by that, I can see when things were done. I can see when objects were modified, and that tells me a little bit about the history of the application. I can also see which tables have relationships and which forms and reports have code. I click on the Modules tab to see names and other information about all my standard and class modules. This is sorting in descending order by lines of code. The form to enter times for each race has the most code behind it. And I can look down and I can see where the least code is and see which modules I have commented and which ones I have really not. This is a great overview. This is the same information we just saw, listed by procedure. Ah, uh, my code lines form. Oh, this, all the work I put into this was so worth it. I'm doing a conversion from an Access 97 database, and there's thousands of consistent changes, and this is going to save me so much time. I can filter for a phrase. These are all the lines that have the word record set in them. I can then double click on one of these lines and get to the procedure that line is contained by. Here is all the code, and I can filter it by module, procedure, code only, comments only. I have information boxes for module and procedure on the active line. Well, it's all pretty exciting, don't you think? Oh, okay, I know. If I get excited by this, I'm a geek. Yes, 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 I am, and I'm going to share this with you. You can uh, download it. I want you to tell me what you think of it. I want you to give me your comments, and I want you to give me your uh, ideas. And um, thanks. Thanks for listening. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Send me email, strive for peace 2012 at yahoo.com.